welcome back to another video with Kendall B. As you guys can see from the title today, we are going to be getting into some inspirational talk. Y'all know I love to give you guys the tips and tricks that keep me on track, that keeps me moving towards my goals. And we're going to be talking about disciplining yourself and sticking to your goals and plans. Now, it is now 2021 and 2020 should have already gave you the wake up call to you know wake up and go after whatever you want because life is so short so in today's video i will show you how to get that discipline mindset change and get rid of bad habits and just to overall become a better person with discipline and structure in your life so if that seems like that'll interest you definitely keep watching to the end of the video and let's go ahead and get right into it as you guys can see i am in a different location i am still at las vegas so i'm in my hotel room and if you didn't see it you need to go click right there and go like it so first off disciplining yourself why why do i need discipline what do, i don't need discipline most people don't feel like they need discipline discipline is a must Without disciplining yourself, I feel like you will not have a grasp on growing and reaching new levels and sticking to things because if you let yourself do whatever you want and you don't hold yourself accountable in no way, shape, or form, how can you grow? Why do I need discipline? There's a lot of times when you don't really understand that you actually need discipline and I didn't learn it until recently when it was just an instance where I'm like, why do I act like that? Or why do I always act in that manner? Or just anything dealing with mindset, lifestyle, weight gain, relationship wise. Like if I say I want to, you know, gain a little weight and get a little meat on my bones, then I need to discipline myself to eat better. If I say in a relationship, I want to become more um, vulnerable, more open, then I need to discipline myself to share how I feel more. If I want to live the lifestyle of being around inspirational people, be around bosses, be around people that are, you know, inspiring me, motivating me, people that are not bringing me down. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That's why we need discipline. We all love results. We all love to see that, okay, yes, I went through this, let's say, um, motherhood journey but in the end it's a beautiful thing yes I went to college it was stressful but in the end it's a beautiful thing it's the same thing with your life so that's why I say you have to add in that discipline to see the beauty in it you may not want to cut out the stuff in your life at the moment but in the end you will see the beauty in it and you will be at your end result so how do I discipline myself we're going to talk about that because I would say I am a super duper disciplined person. You guys see all the time that I'm very consistent on my YouTube channel and I just be on on top of a lot of stuff. And even though I have a lot of stuff going on, I may be in college at the time, working my full-time job or still babysitting, still doing YouTube. And it's like juggling all those things, but none of that would be possible if I did not have discipline. And I learned that through repetition and routines. I 100% feel like if you do not have a routine, then it's going to be harder to change that bad habit or get into that habit of getting ish done. If you're not in the habit of getting ish done and you just wake up on a random Sunday morning and be like, you know what? I'm going to start a business. Nah, I'm about to start a business. And you know, you, you motivated that day. You in the groove that day. You plan out your whole day on that only day. But the next day, you're not in a routine. You don't feel like it. So you're like, I'm gonna just go with the flow. Like, I don't even care. Like, you need to have the same routine and do that same routine over and over and over but to, until it comes to habit over and over and over until it comes to habit and i know that may sound boring but it's really it's really not it's just a whole process like find the routine that works for you and run with it so if you wake up motivated that day you need to write down the same schedule and implement time for you implement time to have downtime and still work towards that goal okay from 10 to 1 i'm gonna focus on my business after that i'm free 
any routine like that when you stick to it that is going to become something that you do every day that becomes natural i know a lot of the times you may not stick to your decisions and there's a lot of times when i don't stick to my discipline and my decisions and keep trying that mindset change keep trying that routine even each time you fail do not give up just keep trying and eventually you'll grasp it like the waking up early thing for some people they can say oh it's so hard at first but once you get conditioned to it it's not even going to be a problem so there's a lot of times where i may <laughs> discipline myself to try and think positive about situations a lot of the times i know at times we can think about things in a negative mindset in a negative way and i would tell myself like i'm gonna discipline myself to think positive thoughts and there's gonna be times when i don't stick to it and i don't stick to my mindset discipline i had in mind but all i gotta do is remember just keep trying again i thought that negative thought but we're not gonna focus on that kendall stick back to what the plan is it's okay if you make mistakes but focus back to what the plan is just keep trying and a lot of this deals with faith you guys a lot of this deals with just believing in yourself and that those results will come i know a lot of times it's hard to even see those results it may be too far to see that degree it may be too far to see yourself being successful in the place that you are or it may even be too far to see yourself being happy in the current state and situation that you are i'm sitting here looking at this view of vegas and i don't know it's just showing me like the world is like limitless like believe if you do not believe in yourself nobody in this world will and I just want to guide you guys and help you guys learn like a few things about what it all takes to reach your goals. It's not just something you wake up and appear. It's not something that just pops up in your face as, oh, look, you finally met your goal. Like you have to put in the work. You have to work on yourself, work on how you think. And it's really, it's really not easy. Um, for example, like with goals, you could say i'm gonna start this business and you may be super motivated that first couple months but after a while if you just stop if you feel like man this ain't gonna do nothing or i'm not seeing no profit off this as soon as you stop believing and keeping faith that's when everything else goes too so it's really just a whole mindset practice that we have to work on together but that's what i'm here for um, let me show you guys the view that i'm looking at i just got my room cleaned by room service and the green can is looking so beautiful so yeah that's the view that i have right now but i just want to get on here and speak that knowledge share that insight and let you know if you want to get to a goal discipline yourself create a routine stick to it and believe that even if you mess up some days even if you do not get things right you need to keep trying and hold yourself accountable do not just keep giving yourself the leeway to sit around and do the bare minimum. Do not keep giving yourself the leeway to be acceptable to poor treatment. Do not give yourself the okay to, you know, not live the life you want to live. Don't settle and hold yourself accountable for, for reaching that goal. Say, Kendall, it's up to you if you want to be successful baby girl it's up to you it's not up to nobody else so if you want to go out here and spend money and do reckless little stuff and, and not save money to get towards them goals then that's on you baby <laughs> as y'all can see that's how i discipline myself I, you have to talk to yourself like you're talking to a child or another human being y'all know how to discipline children you know how to discipline your significant other sometimes y'all think you need to learn how to discipline yourself too so i have to talk to myself like that sometimes to let myself know it's all on you don't blame the universe don't blame the year don't say oh it's been a bad year so um it's been a bad year so i ain't reached that many goals no baby it's all up to you and what you decide that you are capable and are going to do so holding yourself accountable is the number one thing with disciplining yourself and I just wanted to drop that on y'all, okay? It's not called being hard on yourself. It's just called being disciplined. And you need that to get to these goals, like moving out, like getting a new car, like traveling, like 
shoot even getting a, a really expensive hairstyle all all of that stuff takes discipline to say okay i'm gonna go after it and i'm going to achieve it but this is the year of 2021 i just wanted to drop this inspirational message on here for you guys have a beautiful day and stay tuned for the rest of my vegas videos and i'll see y'all in my next video bye beautiful